Believe it or not, but there are so many AI tools you can use, not only ChatGPT. And today, I will show you a few more interesting and impressive, but most of all useful tools for you and your business. Let's kick things off with something for your business. Do you know what every online business needs? A website. But we've already done that. What does it need after a person is done buying stuff? A questionnaire, a form, if you will. How would most people approach any type of forms? They will use Google Forms, for sure. But all that manual type outlining, structuring, it's far too long. We need it fast right here, right now. And that's where Feathery AI comes in. Initially, Feathery was just a service for manual forms creation, but recently they've launched the AI and that thing changes everything. Now, to create a detailed form, all I need to do is describe what the form is about, choose a language and a number of pages. Since we're doing a customer satisfaction survey, that's exactly what I'm gonna type in. Then I will just click generate, wait a minute, and voila, a form is ready. As you can see, the AI has nailed almost everything. The layout is very intuitive and convenient. Every question either has a text field or a list of answers to choose from. By default, the AI decided to create a form with only two pages, but I'm just gonna change the number of pages to five and regenerate. Boom, the new form is just more detailed. It has more questions and does its job. If I would have received this form at the end of a purchase, I'd have definitely filled it in simply because Feathery AI made it so friendly and convenient. By following the same algorithm, you can create virtually any form and add one more important brick to the foundation of a successful business. And if you suddenly need a fully custom form and AI somehow won't be able to generate it for you, you can always create it yourself. Just click create form, pick a name and a theme. Then all you have to do is add or delete separate elements that snap into places automatically. You can add text boxes, check boxes, progress bars, various buttons, and so on. It's like Lego, but for forms. Anyway, this is a great service and an amazing AI tool that has already automated a few processes here and will continue to push businesses forward. The next AI is also business oriented. In one of our previous videos, we were making a Shopify store with AI. So why not continue this idea with AnyWord? AnyWord is a great copy tool that writes tons of stuff specifically tailored for business needs. You thought uh, ChatGPT was cool? Well, it is, but any word is cooler in some ways, at least when it comes to small things. Let me show you how you can use it to make your business better. Any word at the first glance is just like any other GPT-based writing website, but what sets it aside is its heavy focus on businesses. If I click new document, you'll see a plethora of templates. It can write Instagram selling captions, Facebook ads, landing page headlines, and so on. Let's start with Instagram captions. Any word starts by asking what the caption should be about. Here, I will type new Robocop figurine and click generate. Here on the left side, you can customize various parameters such as target audience, talking points, tone of voice, hashtags, and so on. AI automatically finds out target audiences for your post and generates talking points to use. It not only generates you engaging and selling copy, but also analyzes it and awards a score based on predictions of how this caption will perform. Any word also can write a copy based on your prompt just like ChatGPT. I will just type a simple request and then click on improve. As a response, AnyWord will create a detailed prompt. Then you just click generate and enjoy a professional copy. Another feature I like is writing YouTube video descriptions. Here, the algorithm is similar. Describe the topic of the video, choose an audience, talking points, and so on. And I must say, these descriptions are pretty good. Okay, what else can it do? Emails? Easy. Product listings for Amazon and Walmart. Easy. Here is how writing a product listing looks like. I enter a product name, short description, talking points, and so on. Any word can even extract description and talking points from web pages. So if you are reselling something and don't want to bother rewriting stuff yourself, any word will do it professionally for you. Now let's take a quick pause and talk about this video sponsor, HubSpot. To make this video even more useful, we teamed up with HubSpot, a fantastic platform that combines software education materials and community, everything with a sole goal, helping you and your business grow. They've come out with a complete guide for the state of AI trends in 2023. This is a fantastic piece of research that gives a ton of valuable insights into the AI trends for marketers in 2023 and how AI is really impacting it. It has not only tips from professionals and use cases, but also surveys from industry leading professionals, which is extremely valuable. All you need to do to download it 
is to register on the platform and you're good to go. All the materials are available for free to everyone who registers. HubSpot is really great, so give it a try, it's free. The link, of course, is in the description. Moving on, how about those shorts on YouTube? Do you watch them or you're more of a TikTok guy? Well, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you can create these short videos yourself and that if you have a Shopify store, these short videos can boost your sales. But creating them from scratch takes time and effort. We don't have that. Let's automate it with Opus Clip. Opus Clip is a new AI tool that is perfect for creating short form content in just a few clicks. Here is how it works. Let's say I need a short video about the figurine from earlier. I go on YouTube, find a video and copy a link to it. Then I open Opus Clip and paste the link in there. Then I need to specify process and time frame, select the preferred clip length, relevant topics in the video and confirm generation. AI will then watch the video, analyze it and separate those talking points we've selected from the rest of the video and then create a new video from those pieces. Here is the result I got. The video is cropped well, it has subtitles titles and everything. The cuts are okay. Opus Clip also gave this video a score of 94, which is quite high, but said that it could be better with a hook sentence. Also, I can edit the captions. If needed, choose how many lines per page I want, the position of captions, and even add a logo. Just check out the result. I can't say it's perfect, but that's my fault. I chose the time frame randomly, but if you pay more attention than I did, your short videos will come out beautifully. I know plenty of people whose YouTube channels are full of short videos they made this way and those guys are earning money already. Now let's stop being all so serious and look at a more fun and generally useful AI tool, Nero AI. Nero AI in its core is quite simple. It makes your photos better by cleverly upscaling them. But here the results are actually good. Unlike all other image upscaling tools that simply turn normal low-res photos into paintings, Nero AI does everything in a correct way. I don't know how it works, but I think it uses some sort of uh, tech behind stable diffusion. Suppose Nero AI uses machine learning to find out what's on the picture, finds similar ones in high res and restores the textures based on those images. That's just my guess. Because how else can you explain these results? Here, I will use an image of a dog in low res, 640 by 640. I will upload it, make sure the style is set to photo and click start image upscaling. Just look at the results this puppy has never been so crisp. The only thing that it can struggle with is the text. All AI struggles with that, so no biggie. And I don't like the watermark. But there are plenty of free services that remove it. There also are other styles like anime, standard, and face enhancement. But the results are either similar or worse. So you better stick with photograph. I'd say this is the best upscaler I've ever found so far. It's fast, free and produces seriously amazing results. There are still hundreds upon hundreds of AI tools that deserve your attention and I'm gonna find them for you. But for now, that's all. Like this video if you found it useful, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Peace.